Today I'm going to be reviewing a product from Universal Swords. A number of months ago I had a product from Universal Swords pass through my hands. It was a French Hussar Sabre. Um, I did a review on it. I was very impressed with uh, the quality of it for one thing, but also the attention to detail that went in. It's, it's actually a, a historical replica piece. So recently I acquired a few pieces from Universal Swords for my own personal collection. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing this, which is uh, the Russian Imperial Dragoon Sabre. Universal Swords uh, specializes in this kind of historical um, military and historical weapons like this. Uh, they do a lot of research apparently because what I've seen in the detail of it uh, shows that um, they're paying real attention to detail, which makes these great for um, reenactments or film. <laughs> in the late 1800s, the Russian cavalry got a new designation and a new sword. Uh, they were uh, formed into, into groups of, uh, of dragoons. Um, the, the reason being is because of military advances and stuff, it became uh, necessary for mounted uh, cavalry to sometimes dismount and engage. and. Uh, for that, they needed a, a slightly different kind of weapon and, and different training. They, they basically became um, mounted infantry. Um, they could ride in, they could ride out, but they could also dismount and fight. This was the sword that uh, was designed for those troops, those uh, dragoons. This Russian Imperial Dragoon Sabre is modeled uh, after an example, a uh, historical example. If you go online, you can find uh, pictures of these actual historical pieces, there's some right here. Now this is of course a replica, um, a very affordable, well-made replica. It's quite historically accurate as you've seen from the pictures. It even has uh, where your uh, bayonet would go down through. Um, these are fully functional high carbon steel, tempered high carbon steel. They are full tang. Um, they have been, uh, you can see where the end of the tang has been peened in, uh, brass hilt here. This particular model has a carved wooden handle, um, which again, uh, historically accurate. Um, it has markings on it. I believe this one is, um, 1892 production markings. Uh, they would have been made for a number of years. And there's a uh, forge and, and markings on um, the hilt, on the blade, on the scabbard itself. This particular sword has uh, a wood core scabbard. Not all of Universal Swords uh, products have that. Some have just a stiff leather scabbard. It depends on what is historically accurate. They, they do really follow that. This one has a leather covered um, wooden core, uh, brass fittings all the way down. Really high quality, nicely done stuff. Like I said, the blade is high carbon steel, tempered high carbon steel. I did do a bit of cutting with this and I'll, and I'll show a couple of cuts at the end. I'm also going to uh, add some pictures to this review, some close-ups I took to show uh, the things like the forge marks and, and different things that uh, they've added to make it so realistic and such an impressive piece. Universal Swords, check them out.